Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So, I have been talking about for quite some time that I wanted to do a Disney theme for our arrangements here on YouTube. And so, today is our first um, in a series of Disney arrangements. Today we're going to do a 101 Dalmatian arrangement. So, Miss Dawn Miller, um, one of our followers over on Facebook, she and I, I have talked about doing a Disney theme, so she has been sending me some wonderful ideas. And so this is one that um, she sent me. I was at Walmart the other day and I found the cutest little dog bowl and it has a little black bone on it. It's a white, just a white ceramic dog bowl. I paid $3.50, I think. It wasn't very expensive at, at all. I took a little piece, a little block of fresh floral foam and I soaked it first and I'm sticking it right down into this um, bowl. I am not going to tape it because I want to reuse this bowl and it's really just for me. It's just for fun. So I have dropped that foam right down into that bowl. Now be sure before you start to add flowers to your arrangement that you soak your fresh floral foam first, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start out with some red roses. So these are red Freedom Roses. You can see they're really bright in color. And um, so a Freedom Rose is just a really bright red colored rose. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blow them open Again, this is really just for me. It's just for fun. I think this would be um, so fun to do a Disney themed party and do all the different movies, you know, have each table done with the different movies. I just took my finger and all I'm doing is kind of running it into those petals, those rose petals and just kind of opening up that rose. And next I'm gonna take my floral knife and I'm gonna cut that rose at an angle. And I'm going to tuck it just right down into that foam. So I'm going to really just fill up this container with just red roses. So again, I'm just taking my finger and very carefully running it right into those roses, it, rose petals, and working it to open them up. And I am just sticking them really close together in this little bowl. Now, I don't normally open roses um, when I'm making just a pretty mixed arrangement that's gonna go out of the store. And the reason is, is I want them to last as long as possible and open up slowly for the customer. So that's the reason I don't like to open the roses. Y'all forgive me for sniffing. I've been sneezing all afternoon. I'm gonna remove any of the petals that don't look pretty and just keep opening up those roses. You need to be careful though, because if you break the petals, then it won't last as long. So just kind of carefully run your finger right down in there. And I'm just pressing those right into that foam. So this is probably gonna be this most simple arrangement that I make in this series. But I thought, oh, that is so fun. Um, I also got an umbrella the other day. I thought we would do a Mary Poppins arrangement with a black umbrella. Okay, so I'm just running my finger right down in and carefully opening up those petals. Cut that stem again. Just push that right into that foam. I think this would be a cute arrangement if you wanted to put in little dog bones or a cute little red collar. I think that would be perfect. I did pull up um, a picture of 101 Dalmatians and all of the um, little puppies collars are red. So that's why we thought the red roses would be perfect in this little arrangement. Alright. Uh, I have one more rose after this one. I just tucked it into the garbage. I don't think we needed it. 
Let's see. Okay. So that's one, two, three, that's seven roses. So you can see how I have seven little roses. Next, I'm gonna take this eucalyptus. Now, I'm not exactly sure the variety of this eucalyptus. It reminds you, the little, um, the little leaf reminds me a lot of a silver dollar euc, but it doesn't look anything like silver dollar. But it's pretty, so I thought we would use it. So this is one stem of this eucalyptus. One stem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and cut one little piece off and then I'm going to slowly cut off the smaller pieces and just fill in my space around my roses. That one's a little long so I'm going to cut the center out. And you can see I'm just taking the tiny little pieces and then adding them right to that fresh floral foam. So it's just a very simple arrangement that is all the same flower. Now you could very easily use red carnations for this. I think red carnations would be just as pretty and would work just the same. I didn't have, happen to have any red carnations, but I had the red roses on hand, so that's the reason I chose the red roses. But really any red flower would be perfect. And it didn't take very many stems, just seven little stems. And you could absolutely use any um, any foliage out of your yard if you've got any any of your um, shrubs that are have pretty foliage on them. Go cut from your shrubs. That's always fun too. Be creative and have fun with this. So I'm just going all the way around and making sure that I cover the fresh floral foam because I want to make sure that that it looks covered. Okay, I've just about got it covered. And really just just do it. Whatever you think looks good is perfect. I wanted to make sure though that my little my little bone showed because to me that was the a very cute part of this arrangement. Okay, so I have used the eucalyptus and I've kind of gone all the way around. I'm gonna pour this water out a little bit. So I've gone all the way around and just done a little circle of red roses there. There's the front. So next I wanted to use some polka dotted ribbon. So this is the only black and white polka dot I had, but I thought it would work for our Dalmatian look. So I'm just gonna make us just a couple of loops of ribbon to tuck in. So this is a wired ribbon. So on the front, it's got our pretty polka dots. On the back, it's just kind of blank. You can kind of see the polka dots through it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make um, about three loops. I'm gonna hold that ribbon and I'm holding the print toward me. And I've got um, just a streamer, but I'm holding that toward me. I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna catch it with my pointer finger. I'm gonna do a twist, make a loop, catch, twist, a loop, catch, twist. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors. All right, so I have my little bow tied. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. Thank you, Owen. I'm going to cut that tail. So it's just a fun little polka dotted bow. And it's supposed to look like our 101 Dalmatians, right? So I'm going to take that wire. I tied the bow off with a piece of wire. I'm going to take that wire and just wrap it around my wood pick. And I'm going to go around and around just pretty tight. And then I'm gonna take the little wire that's attached to the pick and wrap it right around the wire that was on the bow. And then I'm gonna separate that bow a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut 
that would pick down just a little because it's a little too long for my foam. And then I'm gonna nestle that ribbon right down in between my red roses. So there is our bow for our 101 Dalmatians. Okay, here comes the fun part. So I took one of these Aurelia leaves and I used some spray paint. So I used just a Rust-Oleum black and this one was a Design Master white. And <laughs> I painted it to be like Cruella DeVille's hair. So I just kind of, what I did was I just laid a piece of paper over the leaf, spray painted half of it one color and laid that paper over the other side and spray painted it the other half. So I tried to do it like um, Cruella's hair. So I just thought we would take these fun leaves and just kind of tuck them in around the edge. Now this is absolutely not something that you have to do unless you had the paint on hand. But I just thought, oh goodness, that is so fun and so cute. So I just kind of laid that leaf there. And I'm gonna take the other one and kind of tuck it here. So it's really just for fun. And actually this one has some mumps and bruises. So I'm actually going to tuck this one closer to the bottom to cover him up. And then this one on top of that one because he has some bumps. So there is our 101 Dalmatians arrangement. So I don't know if you can see, here's the little, um, our little bone on the, on the little white container. But we tucked in red roses, fun red roses. Our leaves that have been painted like Cruella's hair and then our black and white ribbon. So there is my spin on 101 Dalmatians. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me. If you have any questions about how we do things here at our flower shop or how we come up with ideas, don't hesitate to ask. Quite honestly, a lot of my ideas come from you, our viewers. And so that is so fun and so exciting. And I'm so thankful that you are all here with us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop that in the comments down below. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you like videos like this, um, check us out over on Facebook. We do videos there every day. Y'all have a wonderful evening and we'll see you real soon. Thanks guys.